Local artist Connie Ahindero has been painting for years, but when she discovered encaustic, she really fell in love. Painting with wax adds depth and texture. Just take a look at how Connie interacts with the surface of her artwork. I was a printmaker. It's hard to do printmaking in your house, um, so I turned to painting. Didn't do any art for maybe 30 years. I started picking it back up in 2007. And started working in encaustic. I literally was in love with it almost immediately. The physicality of the encaustic, you can carve, you deal with different materials. The wax itself has an incredible smell. It, it engaged me more in a bodily manner. The beauty of it, it's more physical. You're dealing with a, a mixture of beeswax and Damar resin. You're fusing layers of hot wax onto some sort of um, medium. You have to take all your pigments and warm them up to 20 degrees, keep them warm. You're not, you have to be very close to your source of paint because by the time you take that brush and move it to your uh, painting, it hardens. <laughs> so it's a very quick process. You have to think a little bit more about what you're going to do. It's not as easy to change things. And they're very, very, very dense, rich pigments. So you mix them with a little medium, just like you'd use a, um, a matte medium in a painting acrylics. So you never quite know what density you're working with. It's physical, like you put the wax on and it's liquid and then it hardens and it goes into different layers of transparency and you're like, well, well what are we going to get now? Because it's very unpredictable. And then you work with what you have. This, you can go into these lines. I'm going to scrape that back a little bit. I like the carving. I like the uh, lines. It's a beautiful medium to get lines. You can carve them in and then fill the lines in with different things, different mediums and different colors, different pigments. You know, I haven't showed these. I don't even know if anybody likes these. I've been picking the pieces of line out of the environment, I think, my whole life. Um, twigs, shorelines, horizon lines, their branch lines, their outlines of rocks. Um, all those lines start to come into the paintings, but they may not be in the now part. They may be in the was part. Um, they may be in the future part. Uh, so that's where the lines are coming from. I work with photos for sources. I work with bits of the photos, a line. I have a photo that'll give me a line like a hill, or it'll give me a line like a twig. Um, maybe I want to incorporate those in, but then, and this happened a little bit in painting too. As you put down your layers, things show up that weren't there and things go away that you don't want. And there you are, you have a new thing. Um, it's the process of making things that I think everybody should have something that they make. I was recently in Ireland and it's an incredible place. You can't help but relate to the landscape. People fall in love with it. You can't help all with it, the rocks, the trees, the water. And I came back here to Rochester and I realized, ah, but this is my environment home. This is where I get my source of being. That's what I learned going halfway you know, to Europe and coming back, that everything I know and want to know and want to understand is from the environment around Rochester. Because Lake Ontario, the Finger Lakes, Sometimes I don't even need to leave the space. There's a little creek here, there's trees. You walk outside, there's leaves on the ground. You don't need a lot. Rochester in the environment around here is really an incredible source of everything I need. And I don't need to go halfway around the world to find it. For more information about Connie, visit her website at ConnieAhindero.com.